Hi, and welcome back to Cannon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. And it is a never, never segment of the Arsenal player profile. And uh, before I get into this segment, make sure you subscribe to Cannon Fodder TV on all platforms. Hit the notification button so you can receive all the latest and greatest news right here on Cannon Fodder TV. Right, this next player profile comes at the request of the Urban Ghost. Like I always say, you know, if you want us to feature your favorite player, just put the comments in the box below at the end of this uh, this um, video, and we will do our best to research the player and uh, upload at the earliest convenience. So the next player is Frank Stapleton. Francis Anthony Stapleton, born 10th of July, 1956 in Dublin, is an Irish former footballer, player, and manager. He is best remembered for his time at Arsenal, Manchester United, and as a pivotal player for the Republic of Ireland. He has also been a manager at Bradford City and MLS club, New England Revolution. Stapleton played centre forward, once touted as being amongst the best in the world in his position, and was an exceptionally strong header of the ball. He started his career with Arsenal, joining them in 1972 as an apprentice after being turned down by Manchester United. He made his first team debut in 1975 against Stoke City and would go on to form a potent striking partnership with Malcolm MacDonald. The two scored 46 goals between them in 1976-77 season. He was Arsenal's top scorer for the three following seasons and helped the Gunners reach the trio of the FA Cup Finals. Stapleton scored one of the goals in Arsenal's 1979 FA Cup Final 3-2 win over the old enemy, Manchester United. For Arsenal, Stapleton scored 108 goals in 300 appearances in total. Stapleton went on to move to Manchester United in the summer of 1981 for a fee of £900,000, a fee set by the tribunal after the two clubs could not agree, as new manager Ron Atkinson began building a team capable of challenging for silverware after a disappointing 1980-81 season under Dave Sexton. He helped United win the 1983 and 1985 FA Cup Finals. It was in the first of those finals when he scored against Brighton, in which Stapleton made history by becoming the first man to score for two different clubs in FA Cup finals. United finished in the top four of the league in each of Stapleton's first five seasons and came close to winning the league title in 1985-86 season after United won their first 10 league games of the season before their form slumped and they finished a lowly fourth. Atkinson was sacked and replaced by Alex Ferguson in November of 1986 and Stapleton remained a regular member of the first team under the new manager but he left at the end of the season to sign for Ajax Amsterdam before returning to England soon afterwards to sign for Derby County later joining Blackburn Rovers, Oldershot, Huddersfield Town as player coach and Bradford City where he spent three seasons after a brief period. After three seasons as a player manager at Bradford, he was sacked following their narrow failure to qualify for the Division 2 playoffs at the end of the season of 1993-94. He then had a brief spell at Brighton and Hove Albion in 1994-95 season playing two games before finally announcing his retirement as a player. He also won 71 caps for the Republic of Ireland, scoring a then record of 20 goals. Stapleton made his international debut under player manager Johnny Giles in a friendly against Turkey in Ankara in 1976 at the age of 20. He scored after only three minutes of his debut when he headed home a Giles free kick at the near post. That friendly international finished 3-3 and marked the start of the magnificent international career for the quiet 
and reserved Stapleton. Stapleton was committed to international football, insisting that an international release clause be inserted to all of his contracts so that he could be released to play in international games for Ireland. Stapleton played a significant role in Ireland's attempt to qualify for the World Cup in Spain in 1982. Goals against Cyprus, the Netherlands and France for Stapleton in the qualifying matches were not enough as Ireland were denied a place at the World Cup by a superior French goal difference. The late Jack Charlton took over as the Irish manager in 1986 and he kept Stapleton as captain despite sometimes uneasy relationships between the two men. Stapleton scored a magnificent diving header in the opening Euro 1988 qualifiers against Belgium in a 2-2 draw at the Heysel Stadium, Brussels. He also scored in a 2-1 defeat by Bulgaria in Sofia on the 1st of April 1987 with another goal against Luxembourg in a 2-1 victory at Lansdowne Road the following September. Stapleton captained the Irish team to the 1988 Euro Finals and played in all of their matches during the competition including Ireland's famous victory over England. After the 1988 European Championships, Stapleton remained on the fringe of the national team during qualification for the World Cup Italia 1990, making just two appearances late in the campaign. By then, his 20 goals for the Republic of Ireland made him the national side's all-time leading scorer, a record which would be broken 10 years later by Niall Quinn, who was in his early stages of his own international career when Stapleton bowed out of the international scene. Yes, Frank Stapleton, that peer in there between him and Malcolm McDonald. I really love that peer in there. Unfortunately, as we probably know, or maybe you don't know, Malcolm McDonald actually retired at a very, very young age. But guys, again, if you want me to feature your favourite player, put the comments in the box and uh, we will do our best to upload, research the player and then upload. Make sure you subscribe to Canon Foyer TV on all platforms. Hit the notification button again and... Uh, yeah, so you can receive all the latest and greatest news right here on this channel. And just by chance, if you've been wondering who or what you've been watching, you have been watching Cannon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world.